Hey guys, it's me Gidu. We are back with another video. As you all know, the coronavirus is spreading all across the world. I thought it's incredibly important to share with you guys the important factual information regarding that. So, what you need to know, how you can protect your friends, family, colleagues and the people that you love. So, let's clarify our doubts here. Hi friends, this is Shalu, visitor nurse from Mumbai. We all know that we are facing a pandemic spread all over the world, that is COVID-19. In this situation, you may be having some kinds of doubts regarding it. And we are here to clear your doubts in a question and answer format. And my first question is, what do we know for now about COVID-19? I share one of the most important things that we need to know about the coronavirus is the infection spreads through the respiratory droplet of an affected person when he coughs, sneezes or talks. And also we know that the infection usually occurs with the persons in contact within the limit of a 6 feet. The symptoms usually appear anywhere between 2 and 14 days and the symptoms may include fever, cough, chills, shortness of breath, difficulty breathing, headache, sore throat, running nose and other GI symptoms like nausea, vomiting, diarrhea and the person also experience other symptoms like recent loss of a smell. What factors should people consider before going to the daily activities outside the home? The more the close contact, the more the chance of getting infection. So continue practicing everyday preventive measures that includes hand hygiene, social distancing and using a mask. What behavior should people practice to avoid catching COVID-19 at gatherings? There are some key principles for that. If you do not feel well or if you show some symptoms of COVID-19 or if you tested positive for the COVID-19 or if you have a history of a closer contact with the patients diagnosed with COVID-19, please stay home. As much as possible, do hand hygiene, wear a cloth coverings and Avoid handshakes in the public places in social gatherings. Do you feel that our healthcare professionals are at risk from new coronavirus? Yes, because healthcare workers are in greater contact with the patients than the general public. So they are at high risk of getting infected. Are you at high risk for severe complications of COVID-19? Older adults and people of any age with underlying serious medical conditions are at higher risk of getting serious complications of COVID-19. This may include the people of age more than 65 years and the chronic illness like chronic lung disease, moderate to severe asthma, serious heart conditions and the people with obesity or diabetes and the BMI greater than 40 are at higher risk of getting this serious complications and also people with serious kidney diseases and those who undergo dialysis are at high risk of getting serious complications. So here ends the question and answer session. I would like to introduce a few nursing angels across the world. You may know them. They would like to share with you the important preventive measures against coronavirus. So let's listen to them. Hi everyone, my name is Trisha John. I am one of the registered nurse from Mumbai. Being a nurse, my advice to you all is to avoid close contact with the person who is experiencing sick. Thank you. Hi, this is Dismi George, registered nurse from Mumbai. As the country is still battling pandemic, I would humbly request all to keep the guard on and take proper precaution. If you have any sort of fever or breathing difficulty, kindly seek medical advice and share your proper travel history with the healthcare provider. I hope all will follow this suggestion and we can get through this. Thank you so much. Hi, I am Anjisha. I am a registered nurse. Now I am on COVID duty. And my suggestion is to avoid airless public places and crowded places. Thank you. Hi friends, I am Simira Khan. I am a resident nurse in Maharashtra. My guide advice is to all is maintain hand hygiene, wash your hand with running water and use hand sanitizer. Hello friends, I am Sanjukta Das. I am a registered nurse from Andhra Pradesh. So, suggestion from my part is, if you need to go to store, go in the early morning or late at night to avoid crowds. Stay at least 6 feet away from others while shopping and in lines. If possible, use touchless payment, that is, pay without card, money or keypad. If happens, clean hand with sanitizer. Thank you. 
Hi friends, my name is Bessie Benny. I am a registered nurse working in Mumbai. As we all know that nowadays we are suffering the crisis of coronavirus. So, now is our responsibility to play an important role in the spread of this disease? How? A simple gesture like wearing your mask in the crowded and public places. That can make a difference. Wear your mask and prevent the spread of disease. Thank you. Hi all. I am Soni Sani. I am working as a registered nurse in Kerala. Nowadays, everyone know we are facing the COVID-19, that is coronavirus. And as a nurse, we are working in the hospital. We are using our cell phones. So, one small suggestion I want to give is, please clean your cell phones frequently. In our home, kids and our family members is there they are, sometimes they can be used our mobiles so to prevent from the virus please clean your cell phones with alcohol sab or wipes thank you as you know this corona which is transmitted through the droplets of saliva or discharged from the nose when i infect a person through the sneeze or cough i should have to explain what are the simple techniques we have to follow and to avoid these things. First thing is, if you are getting a cough or sneeze in the sense, you just have to keep in a tissue paper. Or otherwise, you don't have the tissue paper in the sense, you just use your flexed elbow. Okay? Then immediately you have to dispose that the tissue paper in a correct manner. And after that, the clear, clean hand wash. A hand wash in the sense, use the soap otherwise the soap solution okay one to tap dorsal in the cost in the lock hand sweep okay then then after sanitizer use the sanitizer at least wipe out the virus in our world thank you hi i am Aishwarya joseph I am a registered nurse from Saudi Arabia. My request is to use a surgical mask during the diagnosis and treatment to protect ourselves and others. Hi friends, here we are to discuss about dunning and duffing of surgical as well as N95 masks. Before doing this procedure, we have to perform hand hygiene, right? So my hands are clean. Now it's the perfect time to wear surgical mask. Take the surgical mask with the strip. Do not touch inside your mask because it is going to attach with your nose and the mouth. All right. And make sure that you are molding your nose piece. And then while you are removing, touch only on the strips. All right. Then we have to discard it in a proper way that is very very important. Now we are going to wear N95 respirator. Okay. Now you have to hold it like this in a cupped fingers. Then we have two strips over here. Upper one and the lower one. Okay. And upper one should be at the crown of your head. Lower one should be at the nape of your neck. Alright. Then you have to place it over the mouth and the nose. And then first upper one then the lower one and you have to mold your nose piece to make sure that there is no leakage and then hold your both hands in front of your mask inhale and exhale properly and if there is any air leakage you have to adjust your strips or nose piece again then while removing you have to remove the lower one first That's all about it and discard it properly. Thank you so much. So here ends the session.
Thank you so much for the nursing angels for their wonderful effort and time for this video. And if you really like our content, please subscribe our channel and give us a thumbs up and press the bell icon for the notifications. And we'll meet you again in another video with an interesting topic. Until then, it's bye from Gidu Chandra. Thank you.